The Himalaya is the arc-shaped mountain range in between the Indus River in the northwest and the Brahmaputra River in the east. It covers an area of approximately 750,000 square kilometers in South Asia. It extends from Pakistan to northern India and to Nepal and finally ends in Myanmar through Bhutan. The higher regions of the Himalaya are snow-capped throughout the year and they are the sources of several large perennial rivers. With its outstanding natural beauty, the region has always attracted travelers and tourists from across the world. The Himalayas present two contrasting realities, charismatic beauty and chronic poverty. The economic and population growth of the region has led to an increased demand of natural resources from the Himalayas. Located in between India and China, which are gradually becoming the future economic powers of the world, the Himalayan region has been extensively milked for their raw materials. Over-exploitation of natural resources, unscientific agricultural practices, demographic change, deforestation and soil erosion are major environmental issues in the Himalayas. Besides these, the acute risk the region is facing is due to global warming. The warming trends of the Himalayan regions are in average 0.06 degrees centigrade per year. Because of this, glacier lakes are forming rapidly by melting of the snow and retreat of glaciers. The rapid retreat of the glaciers in the Himalayan region is taken as an indicator of climate change. A local resident shares his experience as a glacier disappeared in front of his eyes within a period of 30 years. <laughs> Snow and glacier are the principal sources of fresh water for both upstream and downstream dwellers. The Himalayan region is the source of the nine largest rivers in Asia. The basins of these rivers are home to over 1.3 billion people. Due to global warming, melting of the glaciers and formation of glacier lakes are increasing in this region. Along with the increase in size of the lake, the periphery of the land surface becomes unable to support the pressure of the large volume of water which might cause problem of sudden and rapid discharge of huge amount of water posing threat to local residents. It is also known as Glacier Lake Outburst Flood GLOF. There are dozens of instances of GLOF in the Himalayan countries. This is Chorulpa Glacier Lake and it is the largest glacier lake in Nepal. A dam is constructed here to regulate the flow of water. And siren system has been installed at 17 different locations in the floodplain to relay the warning signal of sudden outburst. However, downstream inhabitants are still under fear. <laughs> It is Imja Glacier Lake and locally named Imja Shore 
located in Solokumbu district of Nepal. It was not in existence until the early 1960s. But in 2001, the average depth was recorded to be 41 meters, which was storing an estimated 35.8 million cubic meters of water. It is Ngozumpa Glacier formed at the basin of Choyu, the sixth highest mountain peak of the world. Retreating and spreading area of Ngozumpa Glacier towards the residential areas and the Gokyo Lake series has been posing threats to the region. These cases are only the tip of the iceberg. There are 20 glacier lakes on the verge of outburst at any time out of more than 3,000 glacier lakes formed in the Nepal's Himalaya. High accumulation of water in the form of ice and snow in the Himalayan region and the Tibetan plateau has earned it the designation of third pole. However, the present trend of global warming and its consequences may jeopardize such an honor given to this region. Such an impact of climate change on fresh water resources may not only lead to acute water shortages in future, but also may adversely affect the water resources used for hydropower generation, irrigation and ecosystem balance. Climate change and associated impacts have affected both the upstream and downstream areas. These have led to landslides, soil erosion and floods, depositing the silt which ultimately damaged the downstream landscapes. The areas adjoining the sea level have already begun experiencing high sea level. With the increasing trends of global warming, several vegetations and even wildlife have begun to move to higher altitudes in search of their suitable habitats. Moreover, massive spread of invasive alien species and several diseases have caused serious threats to the indigenous biodiversity. Climate change has impacts in all the sectors like agriculture, forests, human health, tourism, growing food insecurity, poverty, people's livelihoods, and above all, the entire economy. The developing countries and the marginalized communities who have limited assets and a greater dependence on climate-sensitive resources for their livelihoods will be the primary victims of climate change-induced impacts. The economy of the region owes a lot to its natural resources and services of the Himalayas. The Himalayas determine the weather for much of South Asia, which is abode for more than half of the global population in future. No single organization and even a single country can mitigate the impacts of the climate change and implement the adaptation measures on the Himalayan ecosystem to strengthen upstream-downstream relationships. Concerted and coordinated efforts from all member countries of the region 
and support from international communities are urgently needed to tackle these emerging challenges. The South Asian countries have to build a common alliance to reinforce their commitments and initiate actions to address the climate change-induced challenges in the entire Himalayan region.